President Duterte is placing Metro Manila and four of its neighboring provinces under the general community quarantine starting March 22, 2021 until April 4, 2021 with additional measures. Here's the story. Metro Manila and the provinces of Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal are placed under GCQ with additional specific restrictions amid the spike in the new COVID-19 cases as recommended by the Interagency Task Force or the IATF according to Presidential Spokesman Harry Roque. This is not a hard lockdown because the economy remains open, but it is a restriction on movement because we are preventing the spread of the new variants that are already reported in Metro Manila and its nearby provinces. NCR, together with the provinces of Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal, will be in a bubble and anyone authorized to travel in these areas can do so freely. But you can't go out and nobody can get in. We will have a checkpoints to implement this. This was according to spokesperson Harry Roque. In resolution number 104, the IATF for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases set the following measures among others in the said areas. Only essential travel in, to and out are allowed but public transportation will remain operational such capacities and protocols already approved. All mass gatherings including religious gatherings are prohibited. The holdings of face-to-face -face meetings are highly discouraged. Holding of weddings, baptism, and funeral services are limited to 10 persons only. The private sector is enjoined to adopt similar alternative arrangements as those already in place in the executive branch of government, example 30 to 50 percent operational or on-site capacity. Dine-in restaurants, cafes, and establishments shall be limited to delivery, take-out, and any outdoor or all fresco dining shall be allowed, provided that additional engineering and administrative controls are put in place. Visiting persons outside their immediate family or other households is strongly discouraged. Even at home, the wearing of masks for the elderly and the vulnerable and for the rest of the household is strongly advised. The country is currently experiencing a surge of COVID-19 cases attributed to more infectious new variants of concern. As of Sunday, the country has 73,072 active COVID-19 cases after the Department of Health, BOH, recorded 7,757 new cases. Sunday, March 21, marks the third consecutive day that the country registered over 7,000 new COVID-19 cases as it is previously recorded 7,103 and 7,999 on Friday and Saturday. Meanwhile, the national vaccination program will continue, said Roque, with 1 million vaccine doses purchased by the government from Sinovac expected to arrive on March 29, as well as the additional supply from AstraZeneca coming in early April at the latest. The government plans to inoculate 70 million adults this year in a bid to achieve herd immunity against the coronavirus. Thank you for watching. My name is Josie and you are watching Aging Life and Works channel. God bless you.